Hi everyone, so this is a getting ready with me type of going out video. Um, I filmed an intro but I realised that it wasn't the correct one that I'd saved and stuff so here the intro is again. I'm going to show you how I did my makeup. I'm going out for drinks and for dinner and I will try and show you at the end of the video what I'm wearing as well but if you want to see how I created this look then keep watching. My skin's clean and I've just got a little bit of serum on because I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Now this is the type of primer that doesn't look good if you wear it over moisturiser so I usually choose this on nights, out, on nights out because it helps to kind of give your skin a smooth finish but it also doesn't um, look it doesn't kind of make your skin look too flat and I think that's something that I don't like in um, kind of like an evening makeup I like it to look quite glowy so I'm going to just take this all over and it's kind of ugh, had a little weird crumbly bit but it's kind of like a lighter silicone um, based primer so it kind of doesn't feel too slippery but it also helps to kind of give your foundation that little bit of grip then for foundation itself I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation this is in shade number I don't know what shade number this is, I'm going to have to write it in the info bar for you, but it's just a nice kind of light reflective foundation that looks very pretty and natural, but it also gives a nice amount of coverage. So I'm going to use that on a kind of angled foundation brush, this is, this is one of the Nache ones, and I'm just going to dot it on my face and start blending it in. As you can see, it's not kind of a huge um, in terms of coverage but it is very very buildable and I think when you're going to wear a decent amount of um, eye makeup which is what I am going to do today you don't need to wear tons and tons of foundation because it ends up looking a little bit dated so I like to just kind of go light on the foundation if I'm going to be wearing a lot of other makeup but I'm just going to continue to do this until I've got the desired amount I'm of coverage. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the Collection um, 2000 concealer. I haven't used this in a while, but I just want my under eyes to kind of look a little bit brighter than usual. So I've just got two dots of this. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap it in with my fingers. I found that that's the kind of only way to make this foundation not look cakey on the under eye area. And it's kind of a catch-22 with this type of product because... Um, it gives great coverage but you get the cakey effect which I don't like I always take whatever I've got left onto my brow bone and um, yeah so I didn't kind of explain where I'm going I'm going out to dinner and maybe a few drinks and that kind of thing I'll try and do an outfit at the end as well but um, what's your favourite kind of way of getting ready I had a bath before and I used some nice products and I gave myself like a face mask and that kind of thing but um, I suppose if you were cool while you were getting ready you'd have like music on and drinks I've got a glass of water over there because I'm not that cool and I'm filming my makeup so yeah I'm a weirdo but now I'm going to go ahead with some cream bon bronzer and I'm going to do cream bronzer and highlighter and cream blusher just um, for a little bit of a change really just because I usually always wear powder products and I thought it would be a nice opportunity so I'm going to use the 17 instant glow bronzer and I'm using this on kind of like a flat brush this is one of the um, Sedona lace brushes. So I'm just going to get a small amount of this on the brush. You want to go lightly because you, you kind of want to build it up. I'm going to start kind of on my forehead and you can see it does add a nice amount of colour to the face and I'm not going to structure my face too much with it. I'm going to use blush and highlighter to do that more but just to kind of warm up the skin. But You do want to make sure that you blend it nicely. Jawline and everywhere like that. And you can just give yourself a little bit of a chisel if you so wish. So that's kind of my bronzer. Then for blusher and highlighter, I've got a MAC blush that I'm going to use. This is the MAC, I think this was part of the Cream Blend collection. But this is in the shade Something Special. And it's just this kind of pretty pale pink shade. And it does feel weird putting blusher on before I've kind of got my brows on and that kind of thing. But I'm using the Real Techniques, um, what's this called, the contour brush. And just applying this onto my face. And the reason I'm doing this now, and I'm applying a little bit more than usual, is because um, you don't want to put cream products on after powder products. Because that when it, that's when it starts looking cakey. So I'm just blending this outwards. 
and it does look very pretty and natural. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use a cream highlighter and I'm gonna use this one from Make Believe. I love this highlighter, it's a really pretty, kind of subtle but glowy highlighter. So I'm gonna use this on an Estee Lauder foundation brush, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a small amount of my finger first and apply it with my finger. And then with the foundation brush, just kind of blend it in. And you can just do it with a foundation brush if you wanna make the job a little bit easier. Then you can just see it adds this kind of pretty sheen and glow to your face. A little bit on the cupid's bow area. But that's kind of my um, base done. I'm then going to go ahead and apply a little bit of powder. I'm going to use the Fresh Faced Powder, which is just a kind of natural, pretty type of shade. I'm going to use this all over. But I have left my powder brush over there, so I'm going to quickly go and do that off camera and then come back and do the rest of that's makeup. all powdered and set in place, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. So I'm going to just brush them upwards. I did kind of pluck them this morning because they were looking in not so great a state. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of this matte brown shade. If I'm going for a heavy eye look, I like to have my brows a little bit lighter than normal. Um, whereas in the day, I'd have kind of a stronger brown, a lesser eye, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna, on an angled brush, take a little bit of this matte brown shade. It's crushed walnut from um, Natural Collection. Just run that through my brow. Just giving it kind of a little bit of definition and structure, but not really building um, much of a kind of statement brow. But let's face it, I've got such dark brows that they kind of are a statement whether or not I want them to be. <laughs> um, so once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit of clear brow gel to set them in place. This is the Shavata clear brow gel. I love this. And I'll give you a little scoop on this as well. My boyfriend uses this and he's got really dark and woolly brows and he um, uses this sometimes so it's a really nice kind of multi-usage product then for eyes I am going to go ahead and prime my lids with the um, outliner from cosmetic seller cart this is in the shade lame so I'm just going to pat this on my eye and it's kind of like a deep gold shade so just pat it all over And I'm gonna go for kind of like quite a dramatic eye. Well, dramatic for me anyway, it probably will be kind of your standard eye for the average person, but I don't want to wear a really heavy eye look. So for me, this is quite out there. But I'm gonna use this shade from the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, which is heaven, this kind of nice bone color first. And I'm gonna just get this on a flat shadow brush and apply it all over the lid you really want to kind of brighten the area first I feel like that's kind of the easiest way to um, get a nice eye look if you're gonna have something quite dramatic you want a nice canvas first and the reason I don't wear dark eye makeup and a lot of eye makeup is just because I feel like my eyes are quite small and it just doesn't really suit me but this is a way of kind of making it work so I have got that placed all over then I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of lining. Now there is no kind of precise method to this. It's a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna go ahead and attempt it. So I'm going to use this liner by Revlon and this is their Photo Ready Kajal. It's got a white end and a black end. I'm gonna use the black end, it's a pencil. And this is easier than liquid liner, obviously. And I'm just gonna hold my eye taut a little bit. and draw a rough line. And as you can see, that's a gappy line. Then I'm going to just go ahead and apply more. And you don't wanna kind of worry about the line too much at this stage. You just want to kind of get the rough shape. Then you can start going in and kind of filling in any gaps. Kind of getting right in between your in a lash line. I'm gonna have to use a different mirror for this because I'm too far away. So I've kind of got the rough guide there and then I am gonna go in with a little bit of liquid liner. 
And for liquid liner, I am going to use the Zoeva Cat Eye Pen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look in the mirror and I'm just gonna, again, hold my eye and just kind of wing. the outer part of my eye. Now as you can see, you kind of need to fill it in and make this kind of little triangle area match. So, you just kind of end up filling in the shape. So that's kind of like the rough liner shape that you are going to get. It depends on your um, eye shape, obviously. This is the shape that I find the easiest to achieve on my eyes. But you always can then go in with um, a kind of cotton bud or something like that and really take the time to perfect your shape as I'm obviously going to now but it just goes to show you that you know no one is perfect at this but that's kind of like a rough guide and then I'll go in with a q-tip and kind of I've um, got a shape I'm happy with I'm going to go in on my waterline and apply a little bit of a nude line and this is another one of the Revlon Photo Ready Kajals and this is the brightening version so I'm just going to apply this on my lower waterline or my lash lower lash line what would you call this just to help kind of give a nice bright eyed effect then I'm going to go in to my crease and I'm going to do a little bit of a kind of crease smoky eye type of thing. I'm going to use, what shall I use? I'm going to go with, I think, Espresso from the, this palette, which is this nice dark matte brown shade. Just on a fluffy brush. And I always have to kind of take it just a little bit above the crease because my eyes are a little bit hooded. So just that little bit above the crease and then with a blending brush. Just blend that out. And then take a little bit more I think just to kind of deepen it a little. So you're really getting a nice blended effect. Like so. And then under my lower lash line, I'm going to do a little bit of a kind of colour there as well. I'm going to use this deep brown shade called Cocoa Puff, which is kind of like a nice shimmery brown shade. And I'm just using a small brush for this. So just a very, very kind of little brush, just to add a little bit of smoky definition. I'm just going to take that under my lower lash line. I could just do this with liner if you wanted. Liner just doesn't suit me on my lower lash line at all, I don't think. Dark liner, I mean. So this just adds kind of like a subtle amount of definition. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and do some mascara, and I'll come back to you and show you both the both eyes done. And I went ahead and used the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I used to love this. I'm not sure how I feel about it anymore, but that's what I used anyway, top and bottom. Lots of it. I am going to go ahead and use a little bit of under eye highlighter, though, just because I feel like I need to lighten up the look a little bit. So I'm just going to use some of the Make Believe under eye highlighter just on any kind of dark areas. I am gonna use a brush for this as well because it gives you kind of more precision. So this is the Zoeva um, Concealer Buffer Brush. Just to give that little bit of extra luminosity under there. Otherwise it can end up looking a little bit dark. And like I said, the blusher and everything is already on. Then for lips, I'm going to go ahead and use some lip liner first because I can't function without lip liner. And I'm going to use just the nude one. This is the Essence lip liner. I'm going to just line my lips as usual. to create a kind of nice shape. A little bit of highlighter, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Benefit It Stick. Just on my Cupid's bow. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use this one by Rimmel and it's the one of the Kate lipsticks, I think, in number 08. It's just this kind of pretty natural pink.
and I will add a little bit of a gloss I think I'm gonna use the Revlon um, lip gloss in I want to say this is called something like pop of pink pink pop <laughs> I got it almost right just on the center and it's not too sticky a lip gloss as well which is nice And there is the finished look. That's my kind of night out go-to look. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit scatty, but I hadn't decided what look I was going for, so I kind of made it up as I went along. But I will try and um, put an outfit video at the end as well. If I don't, then this is goodbye. And if I do, the outfit will be the goodbye. Hi everyone, so I've got a quick outfit for night. Um, my nail polish is Barry M's Raspberry. My ring was from Kits Plus Jewelry, I think. I'll try and link that down below. My earrings are from Magnolia. They're kind of these little glittery balls. I've got various sizes of these, I just love them. Then um, my dress, my dress is from Hoodies and it's just a kind of long sleeve, very fitted maxi dress. I won't show you the sleeves, they're just skinny long sleeves, this is kind of teal blue colour and it's got this kind of slit down at the side. My shoes are from, I can never remember the name of their site, I will put an annotation going down here and I'll put it um, in the info bar but they're really really pretty. Then I've kind of roughed it up a little bit with a leather jacket i can't remember where this was from i think it was from ebay but um you know leather jacket's a leather jacket really it's just this kind of nice fit and i think it makes the outfit look a little bit more casual and it'll keep me a little bit warmer so i'm gonna go now because i'm absolutely starving and i'm hoping that i won't get a little food baby in this dress post dinner but i'll just have to stand up really straight all night <laughs> um but yeah i'll link everything down below and i'll see you next time bye